Interstate RV Show with your host, Interstate RV. All right, folks, Interstate RV here, and I'm in a big, tough truck stop right outside of a big, tough military installation. I'm out here, in, uh, well, just a little bit outside East St. Louis. A few miles down the road is, is Scott Air Force Base. They might have some aliens out there. They might have some alien spacecrafts. I don't know. I can't get in. Down this road is a nice little town called Mascoot, Illinois, and that's basically where, where I'm at. All right, let's get down to it. Now, you know, I get cards and letters all the time. What? Well, well, not all the time. <laughs> you know, uh, well, uh, actually, I don't get any. But, you know, if I did, it would probably be about people wanting to know, you know, they writing me and saying, Interstate, what do I have to do? What does it take to be a full-time RVer? All right, well, I'm going to lay it down. I'm going to lay it out and tell you everything that you need to know, the inside information on what it takes to be a big, tough, full-time RVer like Interstate RVer. All right, well, first of all, oh, first of all, I'd like to thank all the people that's been watching my um, my Google Plus page. Um, it's uh, got about 4,300 hits, I think. To, no, 40, 40 something, 40. It's a lot. It's it's 40 something, 4,300 and something like that. And uh, all the police people that's given me uh, uh, plus ones and stuff like that. And uh, and I, I've been kind of doing that and figuring that out and kind of working with that. So I'd like to appreciate everybody for uh, for watching everything there. All right, now back to the back to the the meat and potatoes of the deal. What does it take to be a tough you know, full-time RVer. Well, first of all, you know, you got to have a burning desire to do it. I mean, if you don't really want to do it, then you're not going to do it. But I mean, you got to have a burning desire to do it. I mean, a desire that burns hotter than the blazes of hell. That's how hot it's got to be. And <laughs> it's pretty hot. <laughs> so that's how, first of all, you got to have the desire. That's number one. All right. Now, number two, as I look off my, <laughs> as I look off my reminder notes here, number two is, is that, uh, you, you got to be tough, tough. You got to deal with tough weather, tough people, tough cheeseburgers. Because a lot of times they're stale. They've been around for a long time. But but the, but the thing is, you just got to be tough. And you got to be nice. You know, you want to be nice to people. But uh, but you got to be tough because you're under tough tough circumstances. You got to drive in all kinds of weather. Uh, sometimes you know it's pretty scary weather. All right, so that's that. So you got to have burning desire and you got to be tough. But, you know, but, but that's just the preliminary. Most importantly, the, the one thing that sets full-time RVers away from the, the rest of the population is that you have got to have the pedigree. It's got to be ingrained in your DNA. Without that, you, you, it just ain't there. It's got to be the me. I started out, I wanted to be a full-time RVer all my life. All my life, I wanted to be a full-time RVer. And so, you know, like I said, it's ingrained. It's something that you just want to do. It's the, it's the manifest destiny. It's the, uh, the I got to get out there and, and do it. It's the, you know, got to go to the new world type of deal. The go west, young man, go west. Or maybe it's east if you want to go east. Or you could go north or south. Go anywhere you want to now. But, uh, but that's, the, that's, that's what it takes. And, and, you know, that's what I'm going to offer you here today. Absolutely free at no cost to you because I have a devised a way to set those who have the pedigree away from those who do have the pedigree I've kind of essayed it purified it by fire <laughs> so now uh, what I've got is I've got a simple solution to the whole deal now you can have the pedigree maybe you got the pedigree maybe you don't know it but there's only one way to find out and here it is. I have devised a foolproof way. On my Google Plus page, I have discovered how to do circles. And so all you got to do is just go to my Google Plus page, put me in your circle, and I will put you in mine. And my circle is the Interstate RV or Tuffies. Because if you're tough enough to do that, if you're tough enough to take the time to put me in your circle so that you could get in my circle, then I know, Interstate RVer knows that you got what it takes to take what the tough world of RVing <laughs> can dish out. <laughs> and believe me, it can dish out quite a bit. <laughs> so, I, I, I've seen a lot of, uh, I've seen a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, things. Okay, so um, some of them weren't good. 
so that's that's the deal that's what we want to do we want to go to the Google Plus page the interstate RVer get on there put me in your circle and I will put you in my circle the interstate RVers toughy circle absolutely free at no cost to you don't cost you nothing except you you know you got to initiate the uh, you got to do it you know it's just like uh, you know people giving away uh, a free keychain at a car lot you know I mean it's free it's there but you know you don't have to buy a car but you know you got to get down there and, you know make the effort you know to, to go down there and, and, and get it and then that'll be and then that'll be a new uh, circle the interstate RV or toughies and then if it gets to be really big I'll make it a new community as soon as I learn how to do that so don't get excited if you put me in your circle and maybe right away you know because I'm sure there's gonna be you know millions that's gonna get in you know and I'm only one man uh, you know well sorry, well sometimes there's split personalities but that still counts as one man <laughs> All right, but but the deal is is that uh, just do it go to the go to the uh, the Google Plus page put me in your circle I'll put you in mine don't get excited if you don't see it right away because I, I'm still kind of learning how to how to put people in the circles but you will get in that circle and then that's how you'll have the pedigree and then we'll do little updates here and there and keep watching your interstate RVer show because this is how you do it because you learn all the inside tricks of the trade of of doing it <laughs> and and that's the thing it's urban camping I, I I don't do campgrounds I like to like I said before I like to be around people and 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 I'm not being a you know I'm not being a, a wise uh, country mouse goes to the city type guy but but I like the city lights actually more than the outdoors I mean when I look down you know and see those city lights I mean the, the city lights are my stars the concrete parking lot is my little grassy place you know the uh, drainage ditch is my stream you know I wouldn't fish in it but you know it's <laughs> it's kind of nice I guess to look at you know if it's actually you know after it rains and there's a lot of water in there and it's you know a few bottles floating down there and plastic cups but that's all right take the good with the bad I mean you do that in nature you know like I said I, I lived in 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 the the nature and uh, you know there's a lot of PCBs and dangerous chemicals floating downstream you know and uh, fish floating on top of the water all different colors rainbow color uh, water but enough about that so that's that's is the goal and and also the goal is to go to the uh, is go to the interstate RV or YouTube page and watch my uh, uh, videos and subscribe to me I mean you know it doesn't cost anything to subscribe I mean go ahead be a part of it be a part of the movement and one day you'll say you'll tell your grandkids you'll say you know what I subscribed to that guy when he was just getting started you know before he was the king of the interstate world or I actually the RV world all right just by probably if I if I was getting cards and letters I would probably get that from some from some of the other people out there but no I mean I it, it's a little community and I enjoy it and I want I want to, it's it's a community I want to, I want to be a part of and I think I am a big part of it and I want you to be a part of it and I want you to know that I got all the confidence in you in the world and you got what it takes so there's your homework or for the weekend uh, 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 go to the interstate RV or YouTube page watch subscribe share with your friends and family and tell them to watch and subscribe and share with their shin with their friends and family so we get a big chain reaction going and uh, and then go to the uh, Google Plus page check it out put me in your circle and then that way I'll put you in my circle it's not like I'm saying hey you can't be in my circle if you don't put me in your circle because uh, from what I understand right now that's really the only way I can put you in your circle because you know I mean I like you but I mean I don't know you personally I mean so I you know I'd say hey I like you I want you to be in my circle but I don't know who you are you gotta tell me who you are I tell you who I am so I want you to tell me who you are all right now I guess that takes care of that now let's have some of this Campers Quiz! Alright. Now, since we're sitting here at a big tough truck stop, a lot of tough trucks going around, let's talk about truck stop stuff. So this is going to be the quiz for today. I have it right here in my hand. Alright. Question number one. Many truck stop cheeseburgers blank are what? 
Many truck stop cheeseburgers blank. Okay? Was the answer A. Weigh 16 ounces. Pretty thick cheeseburgers there. Yeah. 16 ounces. Or is the answer B. Come in 16 varieties. Yeah. I tell you what, they put stuff on cheeseburgers. I don't know. I don't I don't know, jalapenos and stuff, I guess that's, I mean, I guess they're alright, I don't, I don't like spicy food that much, but, I don't know, I mean, lobster cheeseburger, or, I don't know, cheeseburger with a, with an egg on it, I don't, I don't know if that'd be too good or not, but, teach his own, alright, let's recap, many truck stop cheeseburgers, like, and the answer was, well, one of the answers was A, weighs 16 ounces, alright, well, I've seen them, uh, B, Come in 16 varieties. <laughs> or would the most popular <laughs> would the most popular answer be C? <laughs> Cost sixteen dollars. How do you know it? When I got to check that one time, I got a cheeseburger. I was like, oh man. Hey, if, if it wasn't the idea that it was on camera, I I might have walked out on the check. But then I would have felt bad because the waitress would have probably had to pay for it. So yeah, sixteen dollars cheeseburger. Good thing I didn't order the double. All right. <laughs> Since we're on the subject of truck stops, campus quiz <laughs> question number two. Some truck stop diners are famous for this. A lot of the old truck stop diners, Long Route 66 and stuff like that. Not 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 calling any names out because I don't know. I'm just this is just the question I was given. Some truck stop diners are famous for this. Would the most popular answer have been A, chili? Yeah, a lot of truck stops are famous for chili. I'm not crazy about the putting the corn in there. I don't know. I come corn in there, chili. I don't know. I guess, I guess it's. I mean, I like corn. You know, I eat corn right out of the can, but I just don't. You know, I just don't want it with chili. You know what I mean? <laughs> Put some of it on that cheeseburger, one of those varieties. Yeah. Cheeseburger with chili and corn. Maybe a whole corn on it. Maybe a whole cob. Yeah. All right. Some truck stop diners are famous for this. Or blank. Rather. Also, B is a good answer. Beef stew. Yeah, I like beef stew. And uh, especially when it's got real beef in it. <laughs> you know, uh, there, was, uh, there was a restaurant um, when, I was, uh, when I was in a, uh, a rather large city. And uh, the the funny part about it is, I had stopped there uh, many times. It was a little truck stop uh, there, but the, the restaurant wasn't associated with the truck stop. It was like the truck stop was here, and then you know down the, the road, the truck stop was was there. And uh, you know they the, the people that had it before. You know, I mean, you know they would give scraps out and stuff, and and all the dogs and the cats would come around and be eating it. You know, and then. This thing like that, but then it closed down, and then the the new people that took it over. I went back a little bit later, and they, and I and I went in there, and um, you know, wasn't really anybody in there. But I, the strangest thing, and I don't know, it must be just a coincidence. When those new people took over the restaurant, I I had I'd never seen a dog or a cat around there again. I, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe that was their special. <laughs> I, it happens. I, I don't give me the animal hater stuff. I mean, you know, in, in some countries, people like dogs, cats. That's where to get the hot dog. All right, enough of that. We're, we're got to know when to put the shovel down. All right. All right. Now let's get back to the question. Some truck stop diners are famous for them. We said A, hey, chili. B, beef stew. <laughs> or, <laughs> or is it C? Tomain. <laughs> oh God, that's oh, crazy. And that is the way it's spelled with a P. I looked it up. All right, because I, because here at the Interstate RVer Show, I check things out. I don't do anything by ear. I, I have to see it and analyze it with my own eyes and my own mind. All right. All right now. Ooh, those were pretty lame. Bottom of the ninth. O2 pitch. Got to pull it out here. <laughs> Let's see if we can. Campers quiz number, question number three. 
what makes most RV husbands extremely angry about having to overnight at a truck stop? Right? Is it A, parking among all the noisy trucks? No, oh, too bad. You can't take a little noise. <laughs> Doesn't bother me any. I like it. Alright. What makes RV husbands extremely angry about having to overnight at a truck stop? Some of them. It could be B. The drifters hanging around outside the RV. Not the group. That would be cool if the drifters were hanging outside your RV, you know, have a little concert there. But we're talking about, you know, the people that come off and on the highway. Alright, so that would be the answer B. Uh, the, the transits and the drifters hanging around uh, the RV. Okay. Alright, now let's recap. Because I, I surely you're not following this as much as I'm talking. Well, we're going to get it. What makes RV husbands, some RV husbands, extremely angry about having to overnight at a truck stop? And we said A, parking among all the noisy trucks so they lose their beauty sleep. B, the uh, drifters and transits hanging around outside the uh, truck. Or what makes most RV husbands angry about overnighting in a truck stop could be C. The wife staggering in at 4 a.m. wearing some trucker's hat. <laughs> I, I've seen it happen. <laughs> I've seen it happen. All right, folks. That's the Interstate RV show for today. Or tonight. Or whatever, whatever time it is you're watching it. So, like I said, remember, watch this show. Subscribe to this show. Share this show with your friends and family. And now, a new order from headquarters. Go to my Google Plus page. Plus one me. Put me in your group or your circle. Put me in your circle. And I will put you in my circle. The Interstate RVer Tuffy Circle. And when you become an Interstate RVer Tuffies, you got what it takes to be a full-time Interstate RVer. Interstate RVer here. Close to Scott Air Force Base. And uh, Mascuda. Nice little town there. Check it out. Like I said, check me out on YouTube and Google+. Plus. So this is Interstate RVer. Over and out. I'll see you next week, tough guys. And remember, a new show every Thursday. Every Thursday, a new show. So be sure and tune in and check things out, just like Interstate RVer. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Have a great time. And keep watching and keep subscribing. Interstate RVer here. Good night, folks. Take it easy.